to a developing story. Three brush fires in western Broward continue to rage on and are impacting some populated areas. Here's a look at where they are. The fires are burning just west of the Sawgrass Expressway, north of I-75 and east of US-27. Tonight, the fires are largely burning out of control. CBS 4's Joe Gorchow is live for us in West Broad with what we know so far. And Joe, how does it look out there right now? Well, right now, Lauren and Elliot, smoke continues to fill the night sky with an orange glow just behind me in the distance. Flames signaling that the fires continue. And even though they have raged throughout the day, it did not stop people from enjoying the Everglades here in Broward County. Far away from us, so I don't think it's much danger right now. My new friend, Carlos Saravia, is a professional truck driver. He arrived from California and on his break today fished even with a giant cloud of smoke in the backdrop. Used to a lot of things, so uh, we really don't, we don't scare. We bumped into Captain Bill Ferris a mile down the road at the wildlife management area. He was on the airboat giving tours all day, breathing in the smoke from the multiple fires. I don't particularly like it. I told my wife, you know, it's, it's a little noxious bit of smell. As he puts it, that comes with Everglades snow, better known as ash. The way Mother Nature works, whether it's our hurricanes, our wildfires, this is Florida. Watching the fires rage from a distance is David Rosenbaum. He's with the Florida Forest Service. He says lightning strikes Wednesday night sparked three separate fires. It depends on where the winds take it and where the dry fuels are. We'll have to see what happens tomorrow with that wind shift. He adds there's no immediate threat to the public. Dr. Christopher Chang from Memorial Healthcare is an immunology and allergy specialist. He suggests people with health issues wear an N95 mask with all this smoke. And uh, staying indoors, running your, uh, you're running your uh, air conditioning system, especially if it has a uh, filtering system. And again, it is a little bit difficult to breathe tonight with the smoke in the air. And again, there are three separate fires with the other two in southern Palm Beach County by the Broward line. And when speaking with forestry officials, they estimate more than 8,000 total acres have been burned so far. And the fire in Broward County at last check, only 20% contained. What happens next depends on which way the wind blows. And for more on that, we turn it over to meteorologist Dave Warren. Yes, thank you, Joe. We have new information coming in here, tweaking the timing and the location of when this smoke, which is now going to the northwest, will turn as the wind shifts here. Last two hours, this is the radar seeing the particles in the smoke. You see where the fires are here. To get a view, there is Atlantic. There is commercial. That's the place where you get the nice view of the sunsets, a nice view of the fires here this evening, uh, right along the Sawgrass Expressway. Smoke with the computer forecast. New information is in, and the wind will be turning to the south west and there it goes and that time is by six seven o'clock tomorrow morning so that smoke will start to impact coral springs down around margate tamarack pretty much if you are north of commercial in in broward county you're seeing you're going to see that smoke here this is the near surface smoke sea breeze developing so showers will be developing but overall that wind has turned to the southwest not only does it bring in the smoke it brings in the heat temperatures coming up with the extended forecast i'll look at that through the weekend